Hey guys, I'm Drew, welcome back. So I thought we'd do a different type of video today. We're going to do my top 10 games I'm looking forward to this year and early next year. So, let's start this list. At number 10 we have LEGO Dimensions. This is just like Skylanders but with LEGO. It's, I love LEGO games. If you know anything about my gaming habits, I actually love LEGO games. And I love the puzzles. And... However, this one's sceptical, that's why it's at number 10, because it's like... You have to buy the little figures and put them on the platform, and it's not going out for PC, it's coming out for only consoles only, so... That's why it's at number 10, and if it's something I like, then I may consider buying a console for it, but... Not 100%. Anyway, moving on. At number 9, we have Rainbow Six Siege. I absolutely love Rainbow Six, and we're gonna... Actually, on the channel, there will be Rainbow Six gameplay of, New Ve of Rainbow Six Vegas 2 with me and a couple of friends, cause playing Terrorist Hunt, I love that. I love Rainbow Six. However, it's at number 9 because we haven't seen a lot of it and everything we've seen has been pre-rendered pre footage, so I'm not 100% certain of it, so... But I, I'm very looking forward to that and I will link up some of the trailers of these here. And moving on, at number 8 we have Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I absolutely love Mirror's Edge, I really enjoy it. But what we've seen of it so far is very pre-rendered, and I'm not, and didn't have the flow of what we like, what was in the original Mirror's Edge. So I'm not 100% certain of it. That's why I haven't put it any higher. But I do, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't done a lot of research into it, and I haven't pre-ordered it because it's like 50 pounds, the cheapest you can buy it. But what if it's what they say it's going to be? Then I think it could be very interesting. But yeah. At number seven, we have the. De Tom Clancy's V Division. This is their MMO style third person shooter sort of thing. I'm not 100% certain on this, but if it's what they've advertised as being, then I think it has great potential because it's a very interesting style. However, it could be something that could go either way. That's why I had. But if they try and go to microtransactions way and pay to win, then nobody's going to buy the game because it's going to be $60, $60 or £50, £40, £45. Yeah, but with Windows 10 and crossplay, and I think that has, with the Windows 10 and Xbox crossplay, I am still not using Windows 10. I'll do another video on that another time when I do an actual system bit. But with the Windows 10 and Xbox One crossplay that they've started working on, I think that has great potential because then like it's the first real game we'll actually get with a first MMO where we'll actually have console players and PC players playing together, which I think has good potential. At number six, we have Mafia 3. I absolutely love the Mafia series. It's a very good game. It's a very different style. I played The Godfather first. My, it was my first sort of Mafia game. I love The Godfather, if you can't see there. Actually, Godfather poster. I absolutely love The Godfather. It's one of my favourite films of all time. But Mafia 3 takes it from a sort of different style, and it's going to be you destroying the family. Which I haven't watched the trailer yet. I need to do that. I haven't got around to it. been busy. But it has, I think it has an awful lot of potential. I love the Mafia series. It's one of my favourite series. But yeah, it could be very good. At number five, we have Star Wars Battlefront. It's, okay, not the original. The original is amazing, and that will still be amazing, but it's a reboot, which I'm looking forward to. If But it's not higher because, basically, we, with Battlefield 4, you could get a significant advantage by buying the battle packs and everything. And if you look at the actual pre-order bonuses, you can actually get a significant amount of stuff. So I'm not 100% certain whether it's going to be like pay to win and it's going to be beneficial if you pay money. So I'm not 100%, but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless because I will buy it and I will play it. But I'm not 100% certain, so either way, I will probably play it, but and it'll probably go on the channel, but yeah. The trailers we've seen and the Darth Vader thing we saw was amazing and I'm looking forward to it an awful lot. I will link all of them and I will link all the trailers for all these in the description. And at number four, we don't have a full game, we have a, another alpha of a game of Arena Commander 2.0 for Star Citizen. I absolutely love Star Citizen and I'm really following the development of it and I think it's really interesting. But it's going to be a long time until we see a full version. So your next will be getting Star Marine, a Social Module, and Arena Commander 2.0 later this year. And then we'll get Persistent in Universe next year. I will do another video on Star Citizen another time. I'm looking forward to that an awful lot. Because it's something different. It's an open world space game. And I'm looking forward to that a lot. But I'm not 100% certain. I know it's... It, I'm not... This is a topic for another time. But I'm not 100% it's going to live up to the hype it's going to be. 
but I still funded it quite a lot. Anyway, well, that's a topic for another time, and I will do another video on that because I'm very interested in its development. At number three, we have Just Cause 3. Just Cause is my, one of my favourite series of all time. Series? I think it's series. One of my favourite series of all time. It's not series, it's series. It's one of my favourite series of all time, and if you've got infinite C4. If you look at the actual nerd cube, like we've seen the actual gameplay, like actual live gameplay now as well from um, another YouTuber, Nerd Cubed. We've seen actual live gameplay, and it play, it looks really good. With a wingsuit, infinite C4, everything like that. I'm looking forward to it an awful lot, and I think that's a game I'm going to play an awful lot of. But I think that has a good potential. Yeah. That could be very interesting, and I think will be very good to play, and I think and that's the game I've actually pre-ordered. So yeah, Just Cause 3. Ironically, at number 3. And at number 2, we... And at... No... no. At number 2, we have Hitman. Hitman is a game where you are playing as an assassin. If you don't know about Hitman, I will probably do a video on Hitman Absolution and Blood Money in the future, because I absolutely love both of them, but Hit Absolution went in a different way. It was more of a cover shooter and linear, whereas Blood Money was more open as to how you wanted to approach it, and that's what I think they're going back towards with the new Hitman. Whereas with Absolution, it was cover shooter, linear, you do this objective, this objective, this objective, this objective, and there's only like three ways you can do it. Whereas Blood Money, you could go any way and do it, like... One level that you're in an opera house, drop a chandelier on someone, drop, disguise yourself as someone with a fake World War One pistol. It's amazing. I love Blood Money. And if they can capture the essence of Blood Money in the new Hitman, I think it has great potential. And at the final position of number one, we have, obviously, Fallout 4. I absolutely love Fallout, and if, let me just, if you can't tell by my phone lock screen, I love Fallout, and I'm looking forward to it an awful lot. And I think Fallout 4 is going to be one of the best games of this year. I can't go against that. It's going to, I'm going to disappear for a month, and I will probably play an awful lot of it. Yeah. Of what we've seen so far, and like that's all in engine. It's just going to be ridiculous, and I'm looking forward to it an awful lot. So yeah, that's been my top 10 games coming out this year. And if you guys liked that video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to tell us what your favourite games coming out this year and next year, talk, hit us in the comments and tell us what you're looking forward to. And what other things you'd like to see videos on. So, like, I'm going to do a video on Star Citizen. I'm probably going to do a video on favourite films, films I'm looking forward to, things like that. So, yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys later. And, Trudy, out!